What up, y'all? Welcome back to Practice the Podcast, where we fuse research and culture to help you develop the mindset, habits, and skills that you need in order to live out your purpose with confidence. I'm your host, Coach Reese, and it's time to get better, y'all. Let's grow. We're talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice. Practices are meant to be competitive. They're meant to be competitive. If your practices aren't more competitive than the games themselves, you're doing the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. Yo, so I'm super excited, as always, to have this conversation with you all. Today, we're talking about mental wellness. So for those who don't know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, where mental health should really be an all-year conversation. And so because it's the last Monday of the month, I want to make sure I have this conversation, but we're going to continue it out because everything we talk about when it comes to the brain has to do with mental health, mental wellness. Like, you wish is you centering yourself so that way you can develop the mindset habits and skills that you need but also like to be well if you're not well if you're not mentally healthy mentally wealthy like all those things like you may not be able to fully live out your purpose with confidence because of all those different things you may not have the energy you may not have the strength you may not have the ability the mental fortitude to do it and so mental wellness mental health is at the root of everything that is you wish. So it's only right that we have this conversation today, y'all. So as we dive into it, here's what I want to talk about. Our quote today is going to come from Brandon Marshall. I'm a fan of B. Marsh. Uh, I'm a fan of B. Marsh for a couple of different reasons, because I love how open he is when it comes to his mental health and his mental wellness and what he does to help athletes and other people um, really strive to grow and get better in that way for themselves. But he also puts himself on the forefront. Um, I've seen him speak in person uh, recently in the last month and so, and it was super dope to be able to just sit and listen and hear him talk about how he navigates, how he deals, especially also when it comes to um, his physical wellness, which we'll talk about today as well. So a quote from B. Marsh is this, you don't need to be in distress to make steps. B. Marsh said, you don't need to be in distress to take steps to make your mental health better. That's our quote for today. The reason why it's our quote for today is because it's true. A lot of people think that mental health is something that you do on the flip side, you do on the back side, only if you are dealing with depression or anxiety or de- severe depression or a mental illness or different things like that. And that's just not the case. If you have a brain, if you're living, then you taking care of your mental health, I believe is a duty that you should be doing as a human being. Okay. So his quote is, you don't need to be in distress. Don't wait until something happens for you to say, oh shoot, I got to take care of my mental health. And the thing that sucks about that is I feel like as humans, that's something that we do. We wait until something happens in order for us to start taking care of things. We wait um, to do like posts like, oh, shoot, rehab on something when we should be doing prehab and prevention and preparing ourselves. And so the question um, that I want us to think about today is what is mental wellness to you? What What is your mental? Like some somebody asked me this question on a panel I was on this week and they said, Describe mental wellness. And as I had more time to think about it, that's what I want to dive into today is really giving you my personal example or personal thought process and description of what I think mental wellness is. All right. So our song, though, for today's episode is going to come from Janae Iko. And the song is called Calm and Patient. Like just the title in and of itself, Calm and Patient is everything to me because um, the song really pours that through like calm and patient to me makes my mental mental wellness go yes we want calm we want patient but there's a line in the song where she says i'm satisfied with life i don't just get by i thrive what a miracle to be up and alive like that right there to me is is somebody that is established in achieve peace in joy and is really only seeking to live her life, right? Like I'm satisfied with life. That's that in and of itself is a bar. The next piece, I don't just get by, I thrive. And that's something, again, I think has to do with our mental wellness and how we see life, how we go through life. Like I'm not just here to get by. I'm not just here to survive. I'm here to thrive. And then what a miracle it is to be up and alive. That to me is a really big deal to me because of so many different reasons. But to wake up in the morning and to pursue life with a grateful heart and grateful mind is like that that takes a strong mental mindset, a strong a mental fortitude. It takes the ability to say, you know what, 
this may be going on, but despite that, I'm grateful. So I'm going to be, and I'm going to pursue life in this specific way. So let's dive into the research a little bit. And we're going to, with it, we're going to leave this very surfacey, but we're going to continue to dive deeper. What is mental wellness? What is mental health? What is mental illness, right? On the surface level, it has to do with our brain. It has to do with how we manage our emotions, how we respond to things, how we deal with a stress on a day-to-day basis. How do we deal with life? How do we face adversity? How do we respond? How do we react to these different things? And that in and of itself is it, right? So the other part of it is the prevention, right? And also prevention of preparing ourselves to be able to face adversity in a way that aligns with who it is that we want to be. That's how I like to describe it. So one of the the concepts, again, that I want to talk about alongside mental wellness is balance, which I think goes along with Janae Eichel's song of um, calm and patient. So when I think of mental wellness for me, I think of balance. What does it mean? It means balance. It means my ability to be present. It means my ability to show up how I want to show up. It also means in this moment, two things can be true. Multiple things can be true. And I think that's something that takes a strong mindset to um, to understand at the same time. So back to this. I was on a panel this last week and somebody asked, uh, it was actually mental health for athletes panel. And the question was, what is mental wellness? And as I dive deeper, I have a concept and I call it confident energy. So when I think about what mental wellness means to me, it means my ability to develop confident energy in these six ways. So today I'm just going to start talking about the six ways or what they are, and then we'll dive deeper into them. But when I think of mental wellness, this is what comes to mind for me. So there are six areas of confident energy. First one is spiritually. Spiritually, like that for me is my anchor. That's the anchor for my soul. That's what my soul is connected to. The next piece is mentally. That is my brain. Our mind is our brain in action. After that, you have emotionally. And then emotionally, what you have from your emotional thought process is your emotional intelligence, your emotional confidence, how I do what I do, how I show up, how I respond to my thoughts and my feelings, all those things, right? The next piece is uh, physically. So you have spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, my physical being, my physical fitness, like that is in tune. And the, the important part about this is physical fitness does not mean, um, For me, it means something different now than it did before as an athlete, as a professional athlete. My body is way different than what it was before. So the way I pursue physical fitness right now is different than the way I pursued it when I was a professional and collegiate athlete, right? So spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, then we have what I believe is relationally. How am I doing life with other people? What is my interactions with others, whether it be conflict management, communication, showing up, being present, all those different things matter. Then number six is financially financially matters because how i am the wellness and who i am internally is going to i believe impact the abundance in my finances the way that i steward my money the way i see money the relationship with money so when we think about confident energy and i think about mental wellness for me it goes beyond just the mental part but it's a holistic approach to mental wellness so i'll say it this way how i view mental wellness is a personal realistic and holistic aspect on it. So mental wellness to me is personal. This is how I perceive it. It's realistic. What does it look like on a day-to-day moment-to-moment basis for me to pour into me? But it's also holistic. It's not just my mind, but it's my spirit. It's my mind. It's my emotions. It's my body. It's my relationships and it's my finances. Okay. So the question I'm going to give back to you is what does mental wellness mean to you? What is, does it, is it mental? Is it physical? Is it emotional? Is it spiritual? Like, do you tie in all these other avenues that make up you? Because it can't just be one piece. But I will also say to this is there have been times where I have was so, I needed to really focus so much on my mental and my emotional that my physical went away. And that's something that I'm working on now is now after a couple years of going through intense grieving um, and loss in multiple different ways, I feel like I'm now able to saddle in and focus on my physical wellness in a way that I haven't been able to in the past couple months. So I think that there are times that you're going to go through in life where one avenue of wellness may be a little bit more important. And I think always our mental and emotional and our spiritual should always 
um, come first. Because a lot of folks would be out here like swollen, flexing, physically looking really good. And you're like, "Mm, but how are you on the inside? And that's something for me, I never want to be able to prioritize. But now that I've got my mental and emotional and spiritual in a place that I'm like, okay, this works for me. Now I can focus back on my physical and then also my relational and my financial. Okay. So the next thing is you have to be able to invest in these areas on a daily basis. I believe mental wellness is something that should be invested in daily. It's not a, um, it's not a, well, when I get to it, it's not a Saturday. It's self-care isn't just for the weekends and summer break and all that stuff. Like no mental wellness is a daily thing. Um, holistic wellness is a daily thing. So if you are going to be holistically well, you're going to be realistically well. What does it look like for you to practice something, whether it's meditating for a minute, whether it's journaling, it's praying, it's working out for 15. Like we talked about this last week. Lower your standards, lower the numbers one thing at a time. That's going to allow you to be consistent, right? Because you can't be mentally well, physically, spiritually well in any area if you're not consistent at it, because we are a culmination of all the things that we do. So if I understand I'm a culmination of all the things that I do, then I need to make sure that I am continually making deposits so I can have that compound interest Come on, come back to me in a way that allows me to benefit from the action I'm putting into it, right? So that's my thought to you. That's what mental wellness means to me. Mental mental wellness means to me my ability to invest in the whole me on a daily basis. And then the second part is to allow me to show up in a way that I need to show up and then respond in a way that's according to what I feel is going to benefit me, but also based off of giving myself grace, giving myself peace, allowing to pursue and feel what it's like to be calm and to be patient and to have joy um, and ultimately experience balance. So here are my things for you, okay? My things for you is, number one, I want you to ask yourself and answer the question is, what is mental health, what does mental wellness mean for me? And how am I, what does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? I want you to answer that question. Um, And like I said, the next piece is how are you investing in that on a daily basis? Okay, so number one, what does mental health or mental wellness look like, feel like, sound like for you? And how are you investing in that part of yourself on a daily basis? And again, it doesn't have to be some astronomical way. Just ah, boom, deposits, deposits. What daily deposits are you making into yourself? Number two is... um, when you're looking at these confident energy areas, break those down and say, okay, what, what, okay, what does this look like for me? Do you have an answer for how you're showing up for yourself in all six of those avenues? If you don't take some time to figure it out, what that looks like for you. Okay. The next piece is, um, I want you to think about what does this look like for you to create a lifestyle of wellness? What does it look like for you to create a lifestyle of wellness? Not a day, not a a weekend, not a break, but a lifestyle, right? Because you are a culmination of all these things. And so that means your lifestyle is this. What does that look like for you, right? Um, And the last thing that I want you guys, I want you to talk to somebody. It doesn't have to be a therapist necessarily. If you haven't found the right therapist or you haven't, or you can't afford therapy because therapy I know can be expensive and seem like a luxury um, at some point, but you need to talk to somebody. Having a physical Verbal conversation with somebody is very, very, very important um, to making sure your mental health is in the right space. We need to do life with people. So find somebody, find a friend, phone a friend. I have eight minute energy giving sessions. So if you need something, tap in with me. Um, But make sure you're having a conversation with somebody about who you are, how you are, how your mind is doing, uh, what are you struggling with in life? And you just need to know that somebody's there for you. Um, and I'll be one of those people if you need it. Um, but if not, make sure you're getting into therapy. Make sure you're tapping in with your best friend. You're checking on not just your strong friend, but you're checking on all your friends. If they're your friend, check on them. I don't care how strong or perceivably weak they may be. So that is it, y'all. Um, I hope that you got something out of this episode, something that you could take with you as you move forward into life. Remember that you are worthy of being the model that somebody needs you to be and your mental wellness should not just be dedicated to a day, but it should be a lifestyle that allows you to be your best self. Pers- um, your best self. I'm your host, Coach Reese. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Until next time. Peace.